Hello everyone, welcome back. I uh, hope everyone's doing good today, um, tonight, wherever the time zone that you're in right now. Today I wanna to talk about a protocol um, that I keep hearing about, and I'm into layer one protocols, Ethereum. I always looking for the next one, the next Solana. And the name that keeps coming up is Near. Um, very similar, you know, they both have VC backing, both claiming to be way faster than Ethereum. So I just wanted to take a deeper look and see what this near is all about and if it's worth investing in. So let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, before we get into it, please hit that like button if you find anything of substance in this video. And you know, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more content like this. And also hit that notification bell to get alerted when I put out new content. All right, let's get into it. So the founders of Near Protocol looks like it's a former Microsoft employee, Alexander Skidinoff and developer, I can't pronounce his last name, but it looks like Puleshkin. Um, so they began to work on the protocol project in 2018. Um, you know, since then, it looks like it's grown to about 50 people, including developers from Facebook, Google, and Niantic. So um, it looks like, you know, a lot of people with tech background, um, I haven't found anything shady about these two, so that's a plus. As far as utility, you know, they claim to be the fastest. Um, and also they're saying that, you know, Ethereum with the high gas fees, especially when it's congested, um, is not practical and they have a solution for this. Um, they also say that they're one of the first chains that implement sharding technique. And this is a revolutionary uh, proof of stake method for blockchain scaling. Using sharding, all transactions on the blockchain are split into chunks known as shards. This ensures that blocks reach finality in less than two seconds. Pretty good. The contested mechanism on near is called Nightshade. So that's their uh, that's their name for their sharding technique, and that's what they're trying to use. And I think that separates them from what uh, Solana is doing. On social media, you know, when I look at a project, I also want to look at the traction. If a project has no traction, it's going nowhere. It could be the best thing in the world. It could be the best you know, a uh, car in the world or anything, but if no one's buying it, no one will ever know. So I always look at social media to get a gauge on how the public feels about the project. And here, um, looking at uh, Twitter, it looks like they have about 590 um, followers. In comparison, Solana has about 2 million followers on Twitter, which is, you know, it's, it's nothing. There's still a grown protocol with, you know, I look at that. Um, Discord, Discord, they have about 56,000 members. So they have a decent community. Um, looking at the heat map and looking at the crypto market in general, you see that, you know, overall, um, we're in the red. There are some bright spots there. Polkadot is in the green. Um, Cardano's in green. Near Protocol, you see it there at the bottom, is also in the red. But there's some green, but most of all, the market is probably trading sideways today. Coin market cap rating for Near, they're at rank number 23. Um, and if you look at that, let's say within the last seven days, they're down about 2.5%. Um, I'm going to get into their, you know, market cap and, and, you know, inflation, all that in the later slide. But right now they're ranked number 23 as far as market cap goes against all um, cryptos. Ecosystem, as you can see, is very small. Um, they're growing. Um, you know, this is a project that's been out since 2018 and their ecosystem is still this small. It's concerning to me. Um, but... If it's this small and I see that they're still working on trying to building, you know, I won't, you know, I won't give up on it yet. As you can see here, wallets go, I think they're compatible with Ledger. I don't see Treasure on there. Um, you know, they have something going on with Sandbox, but overall, you know, it's a pretty small ecosystem. As far as DeFi goes, they have about, they're ranked number 15 and they have about 320 million staked or locked in their uh, ecosystem. So that's, that's decent. Uh, DeFi, they have a rainbow bridge, and that helps uh, dApps and developers from Ethereum cross over to Near. You know, it's, it's, you know, helping them get that business. And I guess they're showing that you know people from Ethereum, if they don't like the the cost, the gas fees, and cost of doing business over there, head on over to Near. So that's positive. Um, they have VC funding, like I said earlier, like Solana, 800 million. They got a VC funding back in October 2021. And also this year, in May, I'm sorry, April 2022, they raised another 350 million. So that's good. They're getting backing. They're getting money. So people are um, belie believing in their project. And that's always a positive. During a crypto market, a crypto beer market, you see companies don't do anything. They don't announce anything. They're not working. 
These guys are still getting backing by VCs. They're getting funding, so that's good. If you like a decentralized type protocol, then this probably isn't for you. But if you don't mind that, you know, keep on looking. Now, inflation was kind of concerning to me. They have about 1 billion tokens out there. And of the 1 billion, about 763 million is already circulating. So they have another, you know, some odd million to be dumped on the market again. So that can have an impact on price. Uh, when I thought that, I saw also that 44% is staked on the protocol. So that's good too. So although, you know, they have a lot of tokens out there, a lot of people are staking the coins. So that's, that's positive. Recent news, um, it looks like they have 700 projects now building on Near. So, you know, like I said before, you want a project that's not just docile, not doing anything during the bear market. They're just still working. They're still trying to develop, still trying to grow the chain. So that's positive. Um, also, they have a new, um, I guess their convention is called NearCon. It's going to take place in Lisbon, Portugal in September. Um, there, you know, there's going to be A-listers and politicians, authors, and I guess they're, try they're trying to sell the project, get more people on board. Um, so that's going on. You know, that's, that's some type of news they have. Also, they have a hackathon, um, you know, inviting people to try to break through the security of the system. So that's positive. Like I said, still working, still building. I like that. Now, when we compare this chain, uh, Near versus, you know, Ethereum, Solana, Avalanche, Cosmos, and Polkadot, you see here, as far as sharding goes, they have it. Um, Cosmos has it, and as well as Polkadot. Um, market cap, they have it. Let's see here. You know, this is outdated a little bit, but market cap, we already talked about that before. Nightshade, we talked about that. Um, speed, transactions per second. They have or claim 100,000. Now that's amazing if they can do that. Solana's only at 50,000. So if they can pull that off, that is amazing. That would be great. And pull that off and not have any security issues, that's what you're looking for. Now, when I talked about adoption, they, you know, they're still growing, still small, small ecosystem. If you look at, you know, on Coinbase to try to get near you, you, you can't get it. You can't get it on Gemini, none of the major exchanges. I did find that you can get it on Binance, um, bit.com and Uphold. And I'm sure if you use, um, you know, Uniswap or something like that, you can probably get it that way as well. But right now, as far as, you know, adoption goes, they're not on Robinhood. Solana's on Robinhood. So Nier has some things to do, but I wouldn't give up on this, this project yet. It has some promise. My final thoughts on Nier. So now let's take a look at both in, uh, exchanges as far as Solana and Nier and see which one's the better one. Um, see if Nier comes even close or let's just see what we get. So Solana's price currently is at $43 versus near $5. Um, coin market cap rank for Solana's nine versus near 23. Uh, market cap for Solana's 15 billion, near is currently at 4 billion. The max supply for Solana's 511 million versus max supply for near 1 billion. Circulating supply for Solana's 348 million versus circulating supply for near 763. Um, adoption, Solana has all those, all the adoption right now versus near Solana's featured on, you know, Robinhood, um, Coinbase, Gemini, all the major exchanges, whereas near not so much. Um, you know, you can get it through a few exchanges, little known exchanges. Binance is the biggest one and maybe through, um, you know, swaps, Uniswap or something like that. You can get it. Um, as far as. Uh, decentralized neither of these are decentralized type of chains if you want decentralized you're gonna have to go with cardano or ethereum but as far as the, you know these are both backed heavily by venture capitalists vcs um solana is backed by one of the big time guys in crypto and that's simon bankman free so he's behind that project he's also behind avalanche another l1 um and solana on the negative has been the news circulating the news as far as flood goes for all the negative um, you know, security breaches in the chain. People are questioning the security. So, you know, that's ongoing. Um, so how is near? I don't hear anything about that. And that could be because not that much activity is going on on near, but they have no FUD as far as, you know, security issues go. So, and final, my final thoughts, near has potential, but it needs a lot of adoption to compete with Solana. Um, and that's evident through what I just, what I just discovered. It's on the right path, you know, as it continues building, getting more partnerships, um, you know, growing, getting more developers coming over. Uh, I think it has the potential to 50x for the next bull run. So right now, I would just say Nier's on my radar. It's something to talk about. They have things to talk about. There are similarities with Solana, but it's not Solana. 
Um, you know, as long as they keep building, I'll, you know, I'll keep monitoring for big news, big partnerships. And, you know, if something strikes my interest and I see that they're, they're playing ball and the main thing is traction, that people are attracted to it, they start getting a social media following, um, they start getting listed on more exchanges, then yes, um, I think it's something that I'll be paying attention to and definitely get my hands on for the next bull run. So guys, if you like the content, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of this type of stuff, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell. Um, you'll be notified when it come out with new content. And guys, I hope you found this stuff of uh, some value, put some time into it. And basically when I go through new projects, this is my process. This is what I do. I look at you know, the, the history of the coin. I look at the founders of the coin, look at the traction. I look at all of that and it helps me make wise investment decisions. So I hope you have a good night. You know, stay safe. And until next time, thank you.